So we know LinkedIn is important for our careers. It is the number one business networking platform out there. We know that. But how do we make it work for us? How do we see the things we want to see? How do we make sure that the people we want seeing our stuff and our profile actually does? Well, don't you worry, stay tuned, because I'm going to teach you all about the LinkedIn algorithm and how to make LinkedIn start working for you. Stay tuned. Why, hello there. I'm Sarah Curto. I'm the career coach to help you go from dreading your days, exhausted, overworked, to finding work you love where you are energized, where you are making more money, where you have more meaning, all while having more time to live the life you want to live. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I teach you tips and tricks to make all of that happen, to take you from unhappy to happy at work. Uh, and so what I'd like you to do is subscribe and note it, hit the notifications so that you don't miss a thing. Uh, if you hear any of uh, background noise, it is summer. So <laughs> just giving you that heads up. Um, okay. So this week we're talking about the LinkedIn algorithm. And that's why you, I want you to subscribe because every week I put out a new training video that teaches you exactly what you need to do to start loving your work or finding work you love. And this week we're tackling the LinkedIn algorithm. Um, we hate algorithms and we also love algorithms. Uh, we love it because it's like a curating device <laughs> thing, code that's used so that what we see in our feed on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok is what we want to be seen. When it can be frustrating is when we have content or anything that we want on LinkedIn to be seen by others and not just by like our mom, but by people who have influence to create opportunities for us. Um, we then need to understand how that algorithm works so that we can make sure that they're seeing it. And that's when it can be frustrating. So what is it? What is a LinkedIn algorithm? So LinkedIn is a social media platform. So while it's okay to be on it during the workday, um, it does still have the same goal as Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. And that goal is to keep users on the platform for as long as possible. So they want you <laughs> to be on there. And they love content that keeps you engaged and on there, which is why it has that algorithm. Um, and so an algorithm is just like a code that is um, adaptable and flexible and it changes. Uh, and so what they do is they create this thing and it, it takes into account a whole bunch, a whole bunch of factors. Um, but what they're determining is who sees what posts on the platform. Um, and it's really what posts that will keep you staying on it and keep you engaging. Now, the LinkedIn algorithm is a unique algorithm um, because it is not just figuring out what to show you, but it's also figuring out who to show your content to. And I want you to keep in mind, this is content like a congratulations if you're starting a new job or you got promoted. This is if you're celebrating a work anniversary. It's also the like button. So if you're liking anything, you'll see in your feed, so-and-so liked this, so-and-so liked that. Um, so when you hit that like button, it's figuring out who in your audience should it be showing that to. And this is why we want the algorithm to like you, to want to be showing your content. So how do we change it? The great news is, is the LinkedIn algorithm is the easiest out of all of the social media platforms to change. In fact, we can do it in a weekend. It might be a week or two, but we can do it relatively quickly. So here's how we do it. And it's a multi-step process that gets more and more targeted and focused. The very first thing we need to do is we need to alert LinkedIn of your presence. 
So you can do that by creating a profile or updating your profile. They like an updated profile. It's about every 90-ish days. And that's not like redoing your whole profile. That could just be like editing your skills or adding an accomplishment in your work experience or just changing a word or two. <laughs> that act of editing, it sort of like wakes them up. Oh, this person, they're on here, they're interested. And we also want to do it in a way that they like. So LinkedIn has a specific set of suggestions for your LinkedIn profile. Now I've written an article on this from a training LinkedIn gave to me. Uh, I has not really changed too much on what they expect. So go below for the article on exactly how to create a LinkedIn profile that they like, that wakes them up, that alerts them that you are here and ready for action. Okay, step number two is you just need to log on most days of the week. See, these aren't too difficult or challenging. If you hop on to LinkedIn on your phone, on your computer for at least five minutes a day, that's starting to uh, getting LinkedIn to like you, to prioritize you. Step three is start engaging. Start engaging on some posts, but not just any posts. We want you to start liking posts that align with you, the kind of work you do, the kind of work you want to do, the uh, whole thing of the messaging. What do you want to be known for? What difference do you want to make? What is your opinion on things? So let's give some examples here. If you're in human resources and you want to stay in human resources, you want to focus on human resources posts, and we can even get more specific there. If you're in comp and your compensation and benefits, focus on those. If you're in talent acquisition, focus on those. If you're in talent management, those <laughs> on and on. So focusing in on the types of posts that align with who you are and what you want to do. Good. Another example would be um, like if you are in app development and very specific like app, like for your phone, not like just regular application development, app development, you want to be focusing on liking posts that are talking about trends that are talking about the newest things or a great big app launch or uh, anything that is of note in that world. Another, if you, instead of like a type of job, if it's an industry, so if you want to work in the renewable energy industry or the mining industry or the uh, property development industry, you want to be liking posts within that industry. Now, if you don't see them, you can search for them. So you just go to the search bar, you type it in, you enter, uh, and when you go into it, you will enter content and it will easily do that for you. The fourth is, so we've gone from updating our profile, then we've gone to just logging on, and then we've gone to liking. Fourth is the progression step of commenting on some posts. And it can be a very simple, very insightful. Thank you for sharing. Growing to a place of maybe sharing your thoughts in agreement or not. That would be the fourth thing. Because the beauty of this is that once we start commenting, it really begins to spread your profile because you will see other people will read comments. They will like your comments. They may visit your LinkedIn profile. And then fifth, the fifth step would be sharing the post. And why this is fifth is some people want to jump in and start sharing posts right away and do that. That's great. But I prefer, that takes a lot of thought, courage. <laughs> um, it takes a lot of fortitude, creativity. Uh, sometimes it's too scary. So it's why we progress up to it. Um, but when we start sharing the post, so we can create posts brand new or share a post from somebody else, um, is then we have already set the algorithm. Because like I said, it doesn't take too long, a weekend at the quickest, a week or two at the longest. Uh, and you'll know when the algorithm has been changed because most of your feed will be those posts. You'll no, no longer have to look for them. They'll be in your feed. Um, 
And so when we craft and share a post, what or what that ha- what that means is that the people we want seen, the people who are interested in the same sort of things as you, key decision makers, other peers will be the ones seeing your post. So you can begin creating those posts from scratch, finding an article, sharing another post with your take on it. It's not just a quick share, it's adding your take. Now the bonus, the bonus step is to grow your industry. There's a fly, (laughs) is to grow your connections within that said industry. Uh, If you don't have a lot of connections in that industry, this can be something you're doing alongside everything is creating connections with those people so that they are your first degree connections. So they do have the option of seeing it because LinkedIn's algorithm, how it works is it starts by taking a sample size of your first degree connections to show it to. And they're going to pick the ones that want to see what you are sharing. Okay, so my last word of advice is I don't want you to overthink all of this. You can Google LinkedIn algorithm, you can Google writing posts, and there are things that are like very <laughs> in-depth and analytical. You, This is not your job. Your job is to not write a post on LinkedIn. We're just making LinkedIn work for you. The whole purpose of it is of doing this is to make your life easier is to bring opportunities to you, whether you're in a job search or not. It's building a reputation. It's becoming a thought leader in your industry. You don't need to master the algorithm to do it. You just need this. And I want you to just at the end of the day, know what it is you have to say. And I want you to think about sharing, liking, commenting, creating articles, highlights, another person's post with your opinion, on, like with your opinion, what you want to say attached and in alignment with other things. Because the goal really should be just to get more active and engaged on the platform. And just that will still, will start having LinkedIn work for you and bring like all the boys to the yard. <laughs> like, and we'll just bring all of the opportunities your way. So that's it for this week. Share below, comment below. What are you going to do? Start by, sometimes I'm a lurker. So hitting even the like button is like an intentional, very focused thing. So if that is you, click like, comment with what you're going to do. If you need help with any of this, ask me your questions. I'd be happy to help. And Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss next week's training because I'll be back here next week with another training. Take care. Have a great day.